Hey, how you doing? I'm going to show you some of my workflow that I use for uh, my movie, Starbound uh, Part 4, and uh, another Starbound movies I've been working on, too, that's coming up. But I'm going to show you some of the workflow that I do um, within Canva to create scenes uh, for the movie. Because, again, Canva, to do consistent characters in, like, a mid-journey is easy with one character, but they haven't really done it with two or three characters in a scene so they nobody's really got through that problem of doing this so you're going to have to uh improvise through other like uh graphic programs like canva if you're going to use photoshop whatever but uh, i use canva and it's a very easy program to use and you can be able to cut out and put different scenes together the way you need to. So this is a scene in which the princess and Roxy are in the um, hallway of uh, the starship talking. And I cut two different scenes out. So you can see they're like talking on both sides of the wall here. And then I will use runway ML to make them talk because they could break away. That'll be a different video. I'll show you that. But they're, they're able to talk to each other. But as you can see, these are uh, two separate scenes here. If you I take that away, so JPEG, and I just wanted that one piece here, number 10, done and down. It came out in Kling here, so I'm going to Kling AI, and Kling AI to me is the top of doing video right now um i love the way they do emotions but i love the way they're able to take almost take that image it'll make make it look lifelike they're they're perfecting it like way beyond a lot of guys and i'll put like runway behind them and some and the other ones but um i use cling a lot here so i'm gonna show you my stuff here let me show you um yeah video and go to image to video i'm gonna hit drop there it is right here and i'm gonna bring that in Okay, I got that scene. And if you want to do, you could do draw motion if you want to. Um, I'm not going to do that. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it, it just does a camera movement. Um, and you got to do it with the image, but I'm not going to use this. But I could. But, um, I'm going to do a standard mode one. And I'm going to do five seconds to test it out. You could do number of generations. I'm just do one video. But if you wanted to do like four generations of this, you could if you want to, and that's going to be pretty much it. And I'm just going to generate for 10 credits and let's see how that goes. It is, and this is how it came out. And you can never tell these are done by two different picture images. It looks like that's the wall here. So you see how that came out. It came out pretty cool. So I did this in Canva. I cut out two images to make seem like she's on the other side of the hall here and she's on the other side of the wall and they're, but they're going to be talking. It's not going to just be the motion here. They're going to have a whole conversation, but this is one of the scenes. I just want to show you how you can use Canva to uh, manipulate a scene and, you know, change it for uh, your scene. So especially if you're doing over the shoulder shots or anything like that, because it's very hard to do that with mid journey. Uh, especially with the same with two with the same two consistent characters. So let me show you uh now check this out. So I did this with Canva. I, I cut them out and I put her over his shoulder for that shot and this is what it gave me. You can see the the flesh tones, the hair, the light going through the hair, everything Kling was able to bring out. But and I wanted them I wanted like her to kiss him and, you know, show some kind of affection and it did it. So and then it just shot to this shot right here. That's kinda of weird. Like they'll like let me like like uh Kling will just take your video and make it like a whole this look at this this is crazy now it just took what i said to it and it made it to a text prompt pretty much they gave me a kind of a similar person the, it's not a starship it looks like an apartment now and then they gave me an over shoulder shot 
So it was, it was kind of a mix. They took my scene and they, they were able to take a similar woman and, and scene and try to recreate it with a text of video. Sometimes it does that, but here it gave me a cool shot here. You know, that was for just to show you. Uh, so that's what you do. If you want to use Canva and cling together to um, create some interesting scenes that you know you probably won't be able to get just with just mid journey just using mid journey or just using cling by themselves you'll have to like use a bunch of different um programs online to to make something like this possible so but if you do it right it, it looks pretty cool so so again this is the scene again this is uh the image from canva i was able to take two images from mid journey combine them together to make an interesting scene in the movie and then I was able to render them so it comes out like this uh, and that's pretty much it um, so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel also hit that notification bell for upcoming videos and take care